theme, and, uh, and they lived happily ever after, because that's our wish for both of these women today. So I have a story to tell you. I have a little, a little story. Once upon a time, there were two young women who came into the world of teaching in the ordinary way. And every day, these two young women learned a little more and grew a little more. These women had talents and gifts and thoughts and ideas like nobody else. They had love to give and happiness to share. These two women made a difference in other people's lives every single day. So as it turns out, the day that these two young women made the decision to give their hearts and souls to the world of teaching wasn't so ordinary after all. It was the beginning of two unique and important lives, two unique and important careers that made our world a better place. So today we want to wish you, we want to, we want to congratulate you on your retirement. Yeah, look at you. <laughs> we want to congratulate you on your retirement, but more than that, we want to celebrate those years of teaching that you have touched the lives of so many children. Um, Karen, I want to thank you personally for being the guide that you've been. You've been our ITA rep for so many, so many years, and you come to those, you go to those meetings, and you come back and you tell us the good, the bad, and the ugly. And luckily, lately, it's been very good, so that's a good thing. I want to thank you for participating in these plays that you do every single year. That's an extra thing that people don't have to do. And how proud I feel sitting in that audience as a first grade teacher, seeing my children who are now in third grade stand up and sing and act. And it's amazing. It just gives me shivers and I cry every single time I see a play that third grade is put on. Not too long ago, uh, Karen was standing in line at a, getting her lunch, and uh, she ran into a former student. And they reminisced a while, talked about the good old days at Santiago Hills, and talked about what the future was bringing. When Karen got up to the counter to pay, the man behind the counter said, uh, no, you don't need to pay that young man over there paid your bill. For me, that was not just a gift of buying you lunch, that was a thank you. So many times, third graders don't know it at the time, but uh, as they go on in life, they, go, they look back and they say, that was a year that changed my life. And Mrs. Walls and I, <laughs> <laughs> partners for 17 years, longer than a lot of people stay married. <laughs> and uh, we stayed, we were a team that worked not the way three-year-olds work up and down this way, but we intersected, we shared new ideas. I used to shudder when Kathy would come in my room in the morning and say, Bates, I got an idea. <laughs> because it usually meant we were going to workshops or we were going to get our hands into glue up to our elbows. I have never known in the years that I've taught a teacher who takes her job more seriously than Kathy Waltz. She loves those kids and she would fight to the end to make sure they get the very best education that they are capable of getting. Uh, we didn't always agree on everything, but one thing we always agreed on was how much we respected and admired and trusted each other. So I just wanna say, I know you're gonna live happily ever after. 